Hello, my name is Colin Riddington and this is the latest in my series of hints and tips for Microsoft Access. And today I'm going to talk to you about how you can hide the splash screen that normally appears when you open any Access database. And I'm doing this in response to a question in an Access forum, something that comes up fairly often. Now to demonstrate the effect, I'm going to take a randomly chosen application and in this case it's a countdown timer which opens with the rest of the interface hidden, just showing a form floating on the desktop. And when I double click on that, you will see the access splash screen appear as normal. Followed by the form. And as, I'm, as I said there, I've hidden the rest of the interface, that's a topic for a different video here. And that, to some extent, having the splash screen will spoil the appearance of the app as it opens, in some people's opinion anyway. So let's close that and show you how to deal with that. And what we need to do is we need to create a bitmap file with exactly the same name as the Access application. So to do so, I'm going to right click in the folder area there and blank space and click New Bitmap Image. The next thing I need to do is I need to rename that to be exactly the same as the app itself, in this case countdown timer. So I could just overtype it or I can copy and paste it like that. Now if I do this, at the moment it's ready waiting to create a file. So I'm going to now edit that. It opens it in Paint and it will open to whatever the last size of the last bitmap file you opened was. Now I'm going to resize that because if I use this now, what will happen is this image will open in place of the splash screen, but it just gets a different thing. You've now got a white rectangle, which I don't want. So I'm going to resize it and I'm going to make it as small as I possibly can. One pixel by one pixel. I'm going to remove the aspect ratio to allow me to do that. And it brings it down to a very, very small object there. Save that and close. And now if you watch here, when I double click on that, no splash screen. It opens straight to the form. Now, if I chose to rename the app or the image, it no longer works. They both must be the same. So just show this again now, and the splash screen opens again. If I change the name of the app to the same as the image, one way of doing it, no splash screen. Done. And that's all there is to it. But the important thing is that we need to make that image as small as possible so it's effectively invisible to the eye. So just to summarise then. If you want to hide the splash screen, some people do, you need to right click in the folder where your database app is stored and click New Bitmap Image. You then rename the image to match the database name exactly. It doesn't matter whether you've got an ACCDB, an MDB or an ACCDE or whatever, just rename it to the name of the database, forgetting the suffix. So for example, test .accdb, you need a file called test.bmp. You now need to edit the size of that and you do so by right clicking on it, click edit and it opens in paint or at least it does by default. It may be something else in your particular case. Click resize and change it to the smallest file you possibly can. One pixel by one pixel and you're done. And of course you can reuse that file in any with any other database, just copy it to another folder, rename it, and it's already waiting for you to use in the same way. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you found that useful. And if you did, please add a like and leave a comment. And I'd be grateful if you could suggest any topics for future videos in this series. I'll respond to the suggestions made. And even better, please subscribe. You'll be notified whenever new videos are uploaded.